Hello, Jamalov here and welcome back to Let's Play FTL Faster Than Light. This is my game 2 and we are about to jump to the Sector 4. I have my ship powered with Iron Blast that I started with and I have found myself a Burst Laser and Heavy Iron. Purchased myself a Defense 2 droid replacing the anti-ship drone. And uh, all in all, I'm in decent shape here, but I uh, do want to find some more drones in the stores and of course upgrade my uh, drone and other systems, but we'll see. I have 50 scrap to spend, but I'm not going to use that now. In this sector I barely, uh, barely stayed ahead of the rebels, explored quite a bit of the sector, so uh, we, can, uh, we can move on. Uh, I'm forced into uh, into this uh, slug control nebula, so that's how it'll be. And then we'll have some uh, hostile sectors ahead of us, so a uh, much rougher patch ahead than uh, these uh, relatively easy civilian sectors I've been so far. The slugs that live in this nebula fi nebula field are a laser-centered laser civilization. Everything in slug life is done in the pursuit of more currency and more time in which to spend it on extra extravagant ventures. This inevitably leads to much treasury in open space. Okay, well, that's good to know. Plus, in a nebula, while it is uh, dangerous, you don't get, you don't have your sensors, because um, they are. Uh, not functioning. There is a whole lot to gain here in this nebula. Uh, if we if we get a plasma storm or iron storm, uh, half of our reactor power will be gone. That'll be uh, terrible. But uh, let's see how this goes. Not all of it are in nebula. There's some open space there. So uh, if I navigate myself through this nebula here. The rebels will be moving slower, not as slow as in normal map without nebula, but anyway, and then uh, hmm, I need to be careful here because there might not be jump to the exit from these ones, so maybe I should target these here on the top. Either way, I will start here in the close ones and uh, see how things go. The slugs here use the tactic you hoped you'd never see. They sabotage your oxygen production and then charge fire weapons. You're going to suffocate. Oh hell. And they have a pike beam, a beam and a laser. Holy Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I definitely didn't hope to see this tactic. So is that some sort of a fire beam? Or was the text just some flavor? I'll put the second iron blast on the weapons. Now wait a minute, it won't go through with this. Right, just keep on firing that one. Yeah. Oh wow, out of oxygen. <laughs> This is uh, eighty-six <laughs> percent. I'm not worried. I'm not worried about the bike or the beam because uh, it stays on my shield, but. Uh, Worried about the fact that I'm uh, not doing more damage to them. Ooh. 
59. Now they only have one shield up. Let's see if we can keep it down. 50% oxygen. Come on, burst laser. There's fire there, nice. Boom, boom, boom. 30%. Yes. Now, please bring back my oxygen. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh wow, that was that was exciting. Luckily, I had the weapon power to do it. The slug ship breaks apart. Oh yeah, I had I had the chance to jump if things would have been bad. Breaks apart and your systems return to normal. You collect what you can. Oh, uh, I will wait for the oxygen to come back. That was uh, that was too exciting. Kind of like a timed fight. Very fun event, haven't run into that before. Very, very fun. Okay, I will, uh, I will pause the video here for just a second until the oxygen is back up. And here we are, getting back to 100. I started thinking that was that sabotage, maybe uh, if I had multiple powers in it, if I had an updated oxygen, but that only sabotaged one of them, and then it would have be not have been that bad, because uh, earlier I got that uh, the enemy sabotaged my engine, and they only managed to do it partially, so kind of left, uh, left one mark there, so maybe uh, updating oxygen to also pro protect it. Uh, kind of giving it an additional buffer, even if I don't power it, might be a might be a good idea, and also also for piloting. But uh, I won't do that yet. I will save my points. Uh, I will stay here in the nebula. Hopefully, hopefully finding those treasures that uh, we heard about. You arrive to the site of two slug ships in communication range. They don't see you. Let's tap their com frequency. You overhear their conversation and learn they are planning to raid an infamous and likely wealthy pirate ship in the area. The pair jump off and you note down their target coordinates. Ooh, an interesting event. Interesting event. Yeah, here's here's one reason to come to the come to this uh, different kind of sectors and not just go through civilian sectors when chance, because there's uh, these events are different here in Nebula. I see now. I I haven't been to Nebulas that often actually. Now that I think of it, it's all the way in there. I have two stores here. How about that? That's not in a Nebula. Uh, the rebels are not even visible yet. I do have 77 now. Uh, will I have time to visit? If I go there... Maybe I will just visit that one and see if the rebels pop up. I'll be able to see how fast they move. Then decide if I just beeline for the quest and exit, or if I do a circle here. Let's uh, check this store first. The store locations are usually safe, so it's also good that way. You cautiously approach a slug colony on a huge asteroid. It's a brave person who sets foot on a slug planet. It can take weeks to get the mugus out of your clothes, but there's business to be done. Ah, uh, sadly. No iron blast too. Yet another heavy iron. There's a hull missile. But uh, I think I like my setup now. Um, maybe, maybe getting more powerful iron, replacing the heavy iron, 
Iron plus two or maybe heavy iron two or something. Yeah, I uh, I won't be buying those. Yeah, and of course I, I do want more drones. I want an offensive drone. Uh, I probably want three drones because I want that achievement to uh, three drones at the same time and even even destroy the ship with just drones. So uh, I won't buy anything here. Now the rebels are there, but I can't really tell how fast they are moving, so I will go here, then possibly for the store, and so on. Luckily, no. Whoa, I haven't seen a... I haven't fought many of these slug cruisers. No plasma storm. The slug vessel you encounter here has obviously made a big score and is looking to test its new armaments. They've picked the wrong ship to attack. They have four weapons. Oh, wow. Can also shoot down incoming lasers. Okay, let's consider that. They have two shields again, so I need my heavy iron to begin with. I will probably need to try and damage damage their shields. Don't need to med pay now. If I take down one shield I can have the defense drone, but on the other hand they have so much weaponry. I kinda like to have my shields up. This is a tricky one. Temporarily disable my oxygen, but uh, that's not such a good plan. On the other hand, if the defense drone shoots down there, shoots down any of the incoming incoming lasers, I don't know. This is a tough one. Yes, I will deploy it. I will see how it goes. Um, okay, it hits right away. Hits my drone system. Great. <laughs> so much for that plan. Hell, those lasers are powerful. Um, I can't even see as much. Miss. Nice, we got some of the weapons down. Fellows are getting damaged, let's turn that on. Um. They have just one shield up. I will let heavy iron fire once more. So we'll wait with the burst laser for just a second. Turn on iron blast. Fire the weapons. Nice, good. Very good. Back to the engine. Stay on hold. Though I won't won't activate that again. I am blasting the shield. Should keep it deactivated. They are trying to escape. Firing the engine. And we have this. Oh! 
I somehow somehow managed to kill them all. There was probably some fire there, maybe. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it off useful materials. 41 scrap. Nice. Well, that was lucky. Hmm. Do the lasers have fire chance? Yeah, low fire chance. There must have been a fire there that killed them. Hmm. I take that. I happily take it. It's too bad I can't take one of their uh, heavy, heavy armaments. Okay, so they move pretty much with the same speed here on the Nebula map, even even on the Nebula. Okay, so let's visit the store. I do need fuel, if nothing else. A huge slug teleports from nowhere onto the bridge. Before you can open fire, he spread his wares across the helm and is brandishing things at you. Uh, we have drones. Oh, 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 oh nice. Hmm. Now oh, this is interesting. Uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't mind having uh, having this one. Um, yeah, I think I will get this. I had to sell sell one to get the defense one, but uh, yeah, I think I have repairs covered. I will get this one. I will fix my ship and I will buy some fuel. So that's good. Can't of course power these at the same time. Uh, it'll take me... Yeah, quite a bit to power that one up. Same thing for the weapon. Well, let's uh, let's continue. From here, I think I need to go to the exit, but this one, this one will be first. A slug ship hails you. We've detected some worrying radiation coming from your medical unit. Perhaps you should take a look. As he signs off, your medical base shuts off, and their crew teleports aboard from a nearby station. They don't look like engineers! Well, damn it. And I don't have a med bay. Uh, they seem to be in the med bay. They have a missile, a big missile, and a laser. Um... Defense drone up. Starts with the heavy iron. Shields. Follow up with the burst laser. Ah, they attacked my pilot. needing my shields that much. The engine... Yeah, I think I will... I think I will just overpower them with numbers. Get away from there. The bad news is I can't uh, can't heal my crew. Yeah, this is this is not good. Not good at all. Shield somewhat damaged. Iron blast on. Take 
care of that one. Well, if I survive this one somehow, my drone will take care of the missile. And I could even could even suffocate them. The problem is uh, problem is surviving. Because the engines engines are so bad. So bad in uh, fighting. Oh come on. Missed. Oxygen is down. One one slug is dead. Second slug is dead. Butters back to weapons. Back to shields. They are repairing the oxygen. Ah, damn it, just finish it. At least we can get away from here. Nice. The slug ship breaks apart and your systems return to normal. Well, that's a good result. Very good. Way back on, and uh, everyone will be healed with augmentation. They will be healed around the ship. Will I get this back even if I deactivate it? I don't know. I'm just waiting for everyone to. station weapons shields yes everyone is healed up now so we can now uh, power off that one and jump jump on and I will need to go here and here and here okay You arrived in an area clear of Nebula and quickly check to see if the sensors are working. Everything is fine and no ships are detected in the vicinity. Okay, and I got the drone parts back at least. I could go with the uh, anti-ship drone and these two actually. Hmm, that's a plan. Um, was that location there before? Ah, it's probably behind the quest quest pointer. But let's see the quest. 
and if this is if this is a trap or something else. You catch up with the two slug ships and they're already carrying out their raid. One is in close combat with the pirate, the other seems to be heading for a small space gush the pirate was protecting. Continue. Suddenly, the first ship bursts into flames and an urgent call arrives from the remaining slugs. We suggest you distract the pirate vessel while we retrieve the valuables. 50-50 split. Oh man! Ooh, this is a tough one. Well, I am. Uh, I'm thinking it's always good to help the other races. You can get something good out of it. So I will engage the pirates. Maybe the slug will run away with the cache, but so be it. There's money to be made here, the slugs know that. You turn on the pirate and intercept just before he can reach the cache. Oh, cash. Cash. I hate that word. So complicated. Uh, missile. And laser. Deploying the defense drone will keep me definitely safe. So I think I will do that. Take down their shield. Then damage the shield. Good. Well, let's try the usual and try to go for the oxygen. You should be out already and uh, I should go for that one. Oh, they have two shields up again. Damn it. Didn't notice that one. My bad. Oh, miss, miss. Mm. Oh, there's one. How about now? I probably... Probably can't do it, it's too late. Too late to dart try anything else, so let's just make sure they don't escape. And, uh, just finish it. Oh! The drone... drone shot... The drone shot the laser and a uh, missile got through. When the pirate ship looks ready to break apart, you notice the slug ship has secured the loot and is preparing to jump away. That bastard. I'm greedy. <laughs> I will go after the Slugman ship. Why? Why they are preparing to jump away? Yeah, I. Ah, uh, uh, I don't know. I will go after the Slugman. Probably a bad idea, but I will do it anyway. The pirates do badly damage to pursue you, and you catch. Up to the slugman before they jump. Ah, of course. We would never leave without providing the agreed upon spoils. Oh, yeah? Oh, really? Ah, what 
they would have done if I'd stayed on the pirates. Just leave. I don't know. Well, again, those were the choices I made and uh, I will stay with them. Did I take any damage? I took, take, took some damage. Yeah, there's that one missile in the, in the weapons room. And, um, oh, that is done. 41 scrap ain't that bad. Hmm. The rebels are there, there will be one, two, three. Uh, if I can jump from here to here, then I could visit these all, all these places. Or at least that one. This is a bit of risk. It's all you can never really tell uh, how far you can jump. But that's that's quite a long jump. So uh, maybe I can get them all. You intercept com chatter from an incoming mantis ship. Look, the ship appears not to be owned by the squishy ones. Maybe they won't smell so bad when we cut them open. They move in on your position. They will be boarding our ship. That's for sure. Shields. Missile and a laser. I hate the missiles. Don't like them at all. So I guess with that I will put up the drone. Even that that is a small missile, but anyway. They come. Ah, but this time I have some uh, something to give to them. Wait a minute, why don't I? Ah, oh, they were coming to the health bay and I missed my chance. Uh, Butters is not not fully holding up. is on the way. Um, let's try to damage the shield. Power up to uh, Yeah, I don't need engines right now. fight as well, because the pilot is not doing anything right now. Good. Man, those mantises kick some ass. I don't want them to beam away and come back. So burst laser on the teleporter. You go back there. You go heal yourself. Disable then for the weapons. There's probably no chance we can. No chance we can uh, suffocate them. So, yeah, I might as well take the engines out so they don't escape. All pilots back in position. Butter 
this Easter weapons guy back to shields. They will heal over time. We are shooting them as planned. That's good. The drone. The drone is holding its own against uh, against the enemy missiles and lasers. And shield takes care of the rest. There we go. The question is, do I get? Get uh, okay, 29 scrap one. Okay, do I get uh, non-destroyed drones will be retrieved when jumping, allowing their parts to be reused. So I will get the parts back even if it's not active. Let's see. Then we jump. Yes, and I will be will able to make it in time to the exit. Excellent. I have plenty of uh, plenty of scrap, even to buy uh, buy myself a um, cloaking device. It's rare for the slugs to stay exposed in open space for long periods. The ship here may be lost or just passing through, but either way, he moves into attack. Now here's the interest. Oh wow. That's big defense. Here's the interesting ship again that uh, has oxygen supply that they cannot repair. But they, they do have free shields. Uh, against that big missile. I don't want to have the... Defense drone up. I don't need the mid bay. It's again taking... Taking down the shields. Well, maybe I will let... Will that fire twice or just once? Okay. So my shields can handle that one. We will still put the defense drone up because that fires the big missile. At least do damage. Iron on their shields. Followed with the burst laser. Damn it, the iron missed. My drone missed. Ooh, that was close. My pilot levels up. It's a master pilot, nice. More evade. Um, I do need more system power, so I'll have more options here. Uh, now I can go for the weapons. Just need to make sure they are both loaded. Yeah, to iron first. Then oh it missed again. Oh man. Um let's disable the shields for good.
happy to be with you guys. They were firing so, f so, uh, so fast that. Uh, I do do have to think about can I can I suffocate them? But uh, I don't think I can uh, can see can keep them damaged enough to do it. So I will just I will just do. You have visited us. Will you accept what is in our stores in exchange for our lives? You know that's a mystery. Uh, just out of curiosity, and uh, the slugs are, I mean them, don't harm, they just attacked us for some reason, so I will let them live. But I don't get much. Okay, I do have plenty of, plenty of power. Let's see what our plenty of scrap. On the other hand, the next maps might give us a store or something, but I do want to upgrade something now. I want more system power, that's for sure. Um, Actually, two system power, so I can have these powered, all these at the same time. So that's that, 95. Mm. I do want more drone power eventually. So I might as well buy that. It'll also add uh, additional defense on it, even if I don't power it. Uh, I will save 50 for now. See where this takes us. Now the jump takes us to the exit. The problem is we are quite low on fuel. You have arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged you can jump to the next sector. You find a rebel automated scout floating near its beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Um, I can attempt to download the ship's data stores. Mm, I don't know if that gives me anything else but the map of the sector. But on the other hand, I might get successful, I might get something out of that, and I might get the ship intact, getting more than 18 scrap. Especially because I have the NG. Maybe that affects it? I don't know. I do get more. Nice. Well, that's actually... I think it's random, not not related to me having an NG. So I was able to pull out the ship's data, and I got more scrap, and I got fuel, which is also great. So that was... that was good. Very good. And, uh, well, I, I knew the sector pretty much fully already, so no change there. But, uh, again, sector 4 done. It's time to uh, go to the next video. So uh, I'll see you on the next one when uh, the game 2 continues.